morning, welcome to Stockholm. We're here for, how long are we here for? Four days. Yeah, four yeah. days, Three because days. Meg has just finished uni, like, as well as me, but <laughs> she's got a job Natural interview. <laughs> she's got a job interview today um, with H&M. Oh. Um, so we've come here for a little short break. We're gonna head to the metro this morning because it's meant to be like a really cool like subway art, art gallery like exhibition thing this way um, and yeah we're gonna take some photos of it <laughs> before her interview this evening and we're gonna hire some of them yeah we're definitely gonna hire some electric tomorrow, scooters okay. tomorrow i've been wanting to do that ever since we got here <laughs> you don't have to stop going on about it actually <laughs> no i haven't look how pretty it is so let's just keep going Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was a B roll. <laughs> so, this is the first location we came to. Pretty damn cool. It's at T Central Station in Stockholm. Um, I didn't actually realise this one was here. I've seen a lot of photos of it. But it's like the, all the blue sort of like um, tyre tracks everywhere, it's really cool. So I just set the tripod up here. The shot I was trying to get was um, the stairs in the background nice and blurry, so I used the high shutter speed. I used about four seconds shutter speed um, and an aperture of about 10 plus, just to make sure everything was in focus. And the shot I wanted to get was the stairs, both sets of stairs, um, the escalators blurry, which hopefully I got, I don't know. I put the images on the screen at the end of the video. We're going to head to the next one now, which is Rad Radaherson. Radaherson. I probably butchered that name. I put the put the name here, so you can go look that up. But yeah, this is an awesome one, um, and it's also on the blue line, which is meant to be not too busy, which has actually been really nice. It could have been really difficult to get that shot because you need four seconds to um, so when no one's there. But it actually wasn't too difficult because it was nice and quiet. But we're going to head to the next one now and give that one a go. This one's sort of like a red cave. Um, one, so I want to try there as well. Rad two sets. Yeah, that's better. Oh, look at it. Like, already it looks cool. So this is the second um, station we've come to, it's literally one stop from the central one, so they're like less than 30 seconds probably, did you say? Yeah. To the next one. And this is the next one. Look at this. Whoa. Super cool. It's a not, that's a shame though, isn't it? The construction. The pillar though. Yeah, wow. That's so cool. I reckon for this shot, we're going to have to do a bit more of a like, off off center one to try and get rid of this oh my god this is so cool <laughs> i saw a lot of it, like videos and pictures of it before we came but i didn't realize it's going to be this this big and this cool i'm happy i'm chuffed so this is an nd filter um, and basically what this does is it allows you to film at a really long shutter speed and it not be too blown out so basically what it is it's like a sunglass it's like sunglasses for your camera and it allows you to shoot at a really long shutter speed and everything still to be nice and exposed so the nd filter just screws straight onto the lens and then once you've got it on there you can adjust how how variable you want the nd So I just walked with Meg to her interview with H&M. Fingers crossed for her, I hope it goes well. If she does get the job, it's brilliant. We're gonna be hopefully moving to Stockholm for um, probably six months starting in September, which is gonna be a pretty big step for us both, but it'll be awesome, I can't wait. If she does get it, I reckon she's got a pretty damn good chance because her portfolio is really good. But anyway, I'm gonna head back to our hostel. We're staying at the Generator Hostel, which is actually really nice. If you come to Stockholm, um, I just definitely would recommend staying at the Generator. Because um, yeah, it's really good. We just had lunch back at the place and we went to pay for our like sandwiches and the guy basically let us have it for half price and was like, spend your money elsewhere, which is a really nice touch. So definitely check out Generator if you wanna come stay in Stockholm. Um, 
because yeah, they've been really kind to us. But I'm going to head back to the hostel, edit some of the photos, and yeah, show you some of the best ones that we got this morning. Okay, so I just had a quick little look through the photos and had a little time to edit them. Um, so yeah, let's go through them. The first photo I took was this one of Meg at the um, T Central station. Also got this photo, which I really, really like. It's sort of a central one looking photo. I used a shutter speed of about four seconds for this, um, and that allowed me to make them the escalator look really it's like smooth and silky almost because the it's all blurred on the escalators but everything else is in focus then i had a go at shooting meg in front of the blue escalators and got this photo um i quite like the way it, she's posing sort of more casual she's not looking at the photo i'm slowly starting to get a little bit better at posing people um when you put someone in front of the camera if they just smile straight at the camera it doesn't look so good but i'm trying to get better at like making people sort of pose if you like she was had a go at taking one of me which I actually really like this one. I was sort of looking at my phone with a, I had the notes open so the phone was nice and white. Um, so the light was like shining in my face, that was the idea. Um, but yeah, nice symmetrical shot. Again, the stairs are nice and blurred out of focus. Four seconds I had to stand there for this, so you have to stand really still, but really nice photo. And then we got this shot. Now this is probably my favorite shot of the whole day. Probably one of my favorite photos I've ever taken. To take this photo, I use my phone and on my phone I searched blue and went on images and I basically made the screen of my phone completely blue so that when I moved it in front of the camera um, you get this sort of blurred like um, almost worm, wriggly worm in front of the camera if you like so this was, a, a, this was a 10 second exposure of me starting on the stairs and moving slowly forward with the phone until I went straight up to the lens and then down under it before we came to Stockholm this was the one I really wanted to visit the sort of the red cave um, you got the escalators. One of the escalators was being worked on. A part of it was closed, so it didn't look very symmetrical in the photos. So I was like, oh, damn it. But then we went round the corner and we found this escalator, um, which is the, this is the first photo I took. This one was quite a hard one to shoot because there was quite bright light shining on the black um, floor. So everything seemed, I had to make sure it was all exposed well because the floor was quite bright. Um, so it was almost like everything was going to be backlit, all the subjects were going to be backlit, which is not ideal but it makes for some cool reflections on the floor. We were about to leave the station and head back to the central um, I noticed that there was sort of a, where the trains actually come there was sort of a um, what do you call it there was sort of like a grid protecting the so you couldn't go onto the track but th if you peered through the grid you could sort of see the tunnel um, and as the train came I waited till the train came round the corner and you've got the orange tunnel the lights of the train coming through it was actually really cool to take this photo I was like whoa I think I'm not sure many people have taken that photo so it's sort of a, that made it a little bit cooler I suppose and then finally as we were getting on the train I thought I'd take some pictures a bit more street style a bit more natural and you've got this guy here coming off the train um, I quite like that one for sort of like the street style the candid style and then I also got one of Meg in front of the train I used the 50mm lens for this photo so all the backgrounds are really nice and blur blurred out um, because I used like an aperture f1.8 so it was a wide aperture so the, the background's nice and shallow so it makes the subject super crisp and sharp stands out and yeah that was pretty much it my fo favorite photo has to be that blue one though with the phone it just worked out so well when I saw that in camera that was actually the first one we did we must have done about 10 goes at that photo bearing in mind there's people coming down the stairs so there's me shouting the camera three two one press the shutter to make um, to for me to then do all the to do all the movement, people must have thought I was an absolute nut job, but I didn't care. I got a sick photo. Um, I tried to get creative with the location because you see this photo taken quite a lot, um, and I don't reckon anyone's done it with that yet. Maybe they have, maybe they haven't, but I like that sort of thing. So yeah, long exposure, 10 seconds, I think aperture f4 um, at 16 mil, and we got that shot. So yeah, that's pretty much it. So if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, um, subscribe, we're in Stockholm for the next couple of days, so hopefully there'll be a few more Stockholm videos. But if you come to Stockholm, stay at the Gener Generator Hotel. Thank you, bye.